What's up guys, it's Jim from Sunlight. Have you always wondered how do you connect Bluetooth to your Roku Stream Bar? You can see the Bluetooth app on the Roku Stream Bar, but when you open it, it gives you a bunch of confusing steps. How do you connect Bluetooth? And we're gonna show you exactly how to do it, and it's very straightforward. Now, I just wanna tell you a few little things about Bluetooth on the Roku Stream Bar, which is really cool to know, is when you connect Bluetooth, um, it will open the um, Bluetooth app. As soon as you close the Bluetooth app, the audio will stop. And the really good thing with this is if you decide to stop playing audio, um, Bluetooth audio and you decide to watch something on Netflix or something, it will stop Bluetooth. And that's the really convenient thing about this. Now, if you turn your TV off, the audio will still remain playing like a standard Bluetooth speaker. But as soon as you close that Bluetooth app, the audio will stop and it makes it super easy to use. And we're gonna show you just how to set it up. Um, it's not too confusing and we'll show you step by step on just how to connect pretty much Bluetooth. So you want to connect your phone to the speaker, you want to connect to Google Home to the speaker, whatever that may be, we're going to show you just how to do it in today's video. Let's head over to the Roku player and show you just how to do it. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with setting up the Bluetooth over on your Roku player. Now this is obviously the stream bar or the sound bar, different versions that they do have. So we're specifically, as I said before, doing it on obviously the stream bar. Now, as you see, there's a Bluetooth button right there. Do not click on that. Now, you might think, yeah, that's how you um, pretty much connect Bluetooth. It actually isn't. Pretty much what that is there is when you connect your phone or Google Home or whatever you're connecting, you'll be able to pause and play and it'll be able to tell you what music is playing from your phone, whatever you're Bluetoothing over. Ignore that option at the moment. What you want to do is pretty much go to the left. So hit um, um, pretty much one of the arrows, the left arrow, which is that one. When you've tapped that, you're going to see a bunch of different options. What you want to do is navigate down to the bottom option, which is going to be your settings. From your settings, what you want to do here is make sure you hit on the right arrow. That way, it'll bring up this other menu. From here, what you want to do from there is go, go, go to remote and devices. Okay, so from here, you're going to see Bluetooth devices, so different Bluetooth devices that are presently connected. If you want to connect a new device, what you want to do is click down at the bottom here, it says pair Bluetooth device. When you tap that, it's going to start searching. What you want to do from there is actually open up the Bluetooth onto your phone. So what you want to do, quickly open up Bluetooth on your phone. Um, so yep, just so as you see, I've opened up Bluetooth and straight away, you can see under other devices, right down the bottom, we have the Roku stream bar. What we want to do is click on that. And as soon as we do that, a little prompt will come up on the TV and it will automatically open up the, Roku, uh, the Bluetooth app. So from there, you can just play some music. So let's go see how well this works. Let's go play some music, okay? And straight away, we're in. That's really how easy it is. And as you can see, the base on this is Quite incredibly great. Um, so that is how you connect Bluetooth and as you see as soon as I pause it on the phone it will um, pause obviously on the TV. Super straightforward and to make things better you can actually just go turn that TV off and if you turn the TV off the audio will remain playing. The only time it will stop is if we hit the home. So as soon as we hit home um, right here so we'll hit the house the audio will stop immediately so then you can start streaming Netflix whatever you want to start streaming. Super straightforward. Let us know what you think down in the comments section. If you're new to the channel, think about smashing that subscribe button and smashing the like button and would love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Catch you guys next time.